What would you do if you didn't want to be with your girl no more? I mind y'all. Every clip I'm going for is going to be five minutes or more. I'm going for extreme clips today. <laughs> Camera boy, get ready. You better make $18,000 off one TikTok. What's going on, TikTok? So, boom. I'm going for a clip in the f out of the clipping stream today like I used to do. Now, let me explain to y'all what I do if I don't want to be with my girl anymore. I'm the type of nigga where if I don't want to be with my girl no more, I don't even tell her. This is my method right here, and I think this might be crazy. But just, 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 just hear me out. If I don't want to be with my girl no more, I become the most disrespectful, trolling, bad boyfriend in the world so that way she don't like me, so that way she resigns from my position, that way I get unemployment. I don't know if that shit's ridiculous. That's my method. I don't ever just break up with a bitch. Is that crazy? Everybody saying W method? That's a W method right there. I start talking crazy. I start being ridiculous. I start trolling. I start saying, all right, I start being real disrespectful. She be like, man, can you take the trash out? I'm like, man. I say a little slick shot on my knee, my breath, so that she hear it. But I don't say it too loud. I let it build up. When she be like, can you can you wash the dishes? I'm like, this bitch, I'm like, what? And she be like, what you say? I said, man, don't worry, man. All right, on my face. Type shit. When she start asking me questions about my Instagram, things of that nature, if I'm following, I say, uh, yeah, goddamn right I do. I don't start having explanations no more. Why is my TikTok frozen? My TikTok app just froze. Oh, it's still going. I be saying shit like that. And she be like, you follow me? I be like, yeah. <laughs> I don't listen to rules no more. Oh, I'm cool today. Nobody throw, I wish a nigga would come in my place and throw some shit at me today. Nigga, I'm throwing, I'm throwing, nigga. I'm on 24 hours, nigga. Now, now, now I'm throwing, now I'm throwing these. Come in my place and throw something, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna hit a nigga with a John Jones. Ain't nobody throwing shit. Ain't nobody throwing shit today. But I'm keeping it real. TikTok, we doing a 24 hour. Yeah, Zim is wild. I'm, I'm for real. Listen, that's my method. If I don't want to be with my girl no more, me personally, I make her don't like me. Because you gotta think about it. In that case, if a girl stops talking to you, you have the ability to get back with her. But if you stop talking to her, she gonna think you a sassy nigga. She might think you're gay. And if you try to spin back and get some neck, she's not gonna let you do that type shit. Because you got to think about it. Women, they don't even, they hate to be in the position that men be in. For example, us as men, we get broken up with all the time. We get denied. We get curved. We get all types of bad treatment from women. So, when they in the position that we in, it makes them do nothing but want to chase you more. And I don't think they're going to say that. So, if you curve a bit, if you make a girl not like you, she going to figure, she going to try to think in her head, why this nigga don't like me? And she going to do everything crazy to get you back. Yeah, I'm getting canceled. Niggas gonna think I'm a prime gaslighter and shit. Yeah, my career over. Shit about to get on Twitter, nigga gonna cook my bitch ass. Shit. Wait, 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 I never did this. I'm talking about from the niggas that I know did this. I never personally never did this. I'm a great guy. Type shit. Now, you know what I'm saying? Things of the nature, she gonna do things that she know she should be doing. Type of things of that nature. Every time I've been in a position where I didn't really like a girl, this, that, and the third, or I'm making her not like me, you know what she did? She started sucking to me crazy, my nigga. All of a sudden, that throat opened up about three more inches. All of a sudden, she's not running from the daily no more. All of a sudden, I wake up. I smell honey roasted bacon and waffles and shit. You just told me you're not to cook. Why do I have an eight-plan meal in front of me for breakfast? With a protein shit. So all of a sudden her last name Reed. All of a sudden that bitch got three hands now. She done jerked my shit with three hands and a mouth on it. All of a sudden she a pro at motherfucking foot jobs and shit. Hold on, man. Where this come from? My nigga. Where this come from? Type shit. So that's my personal method, nigga. I don't know. I I I I just make her stop liking me, type shit, and I don't know if it's an L method, but <clears throat> shit, nigga, that's a W clip, man. Let's keep going, man. I told you, I'm clipping for two hours, bro. I got to. How do you successfully convince a girl she's the only one girl that you're talking to? See, that's the thing. You don't. When it comes to women, let me give y'all some crazy methods right here. You actually want to lean into 
her discrepancies in her brain. Listen, I'm gonna cook for y'all. You never run away from it. You lean into it. So if she thinks that you have you give her the impression that you don't have but you get Check me out. You have to double down on that shit. I'm gonna explain what y'all mean. You want a girl to feel like she's the only girl in the world, right? So when she says to you, are the that you follow on Instagram? Niggas talking about my headphones. My headphones big as shit? These headphones big, bruh? Be for real. Uh, now, you lean into it. I'm gonna tell y'all what I mean. Women don't like that don't get If a woman thinks that you don't get she's not gonna respect you. If a woman feels like she's the only woman in the world, but her, her spot is not, I mean, could get taken because you were a nigga in, in position, she gonna do everything she can. She say, let me tell y'all something that I've learned since becoming a streamer. When you are in a position that's different, women don't want to lose you versus the man not want to lose her. For example, way back, when I first started blowing up, you started seeing me going crazy. It goes from you texting the every couple days like, hey, trying to spark the conversation because she's not responding to her doing it. Because she know you that man. Now, to convince the girl that you're the only girl in the world, I mean, she's the only girl that you're talking to, you can do the method I do. Well, I used to do when I was way younger. Right? First of all, you got to have two phones, my nigga. Boom, boom. You got to have two phones. I got two phones. You got to have two phones. You got to have two phones. Sorry. You got to have two phones. Now, honestly, Maybe I shouldn't ask her questions like this. Let me move on to the next question, man. Shit, f that nigga trying to get me f***ed up. Nigga gonna pop up in my crib and hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. F that, I'm gonna keep going that shit. See, buddy, you think you and Sketch going at it for top rookie, rookie stream of the year? Shit, nigga, we all doing our own thing, bro. I f*** with Sketch. That nigga's hilarious, bro. I f*** with him. Starting five all the time. PG, shooting guard, center, power forward, and small forward. Great question. I'm gonna go PG. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go Magic. No, I'm gonna go Steph. Point guard, I'm gonna go Steph. Shooting guard, I'm gonna go Mike. Center, I'm gonna go Shaq. Power forward, I'm gonna go uh small forward, I'm gonna go Bron Bron. Uh power forward. Who's a good power forward, y'all? Nigga said Steph is crazy. Onto the combo, you're like 14. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Tim Duncan. Let me get let me get Timmy. I'm gonna go Steph, Mike, Bron, Timmy, Shaq. Maybe Wilt. Y'all saying KD? KD's a small forward though. I take KD. I'm gonna take it. Maybe KD. Six man. Shit, probably cold. Shit, I don't know. But shit, man, Let's see some more of these questions though, man. Since we gotta send some great questions. The Discord link work. Come on, y'all. We need a we need a long yap session today. I'm giving y'all a comedy special like I used to. Come on, don't fold with the questions, man. How do you get rid of plate cleaners so you get to her friend? Great question. I got gotcha. y'all. How do you get rid of plate cleaners? So the best way to get rid of plate cleaners is this. Bro, think he LTG? Bro, that nigga don't. Me for some reason, I'm letting my nuts hang in this stream. I don't give a fuck. for some reason. Low tier God is not f with me. I used to watch that nigga when I was younger. Like, there were people that watch the streams, they said that they used to call me all types of corny and shit. I was like, What the fuck did I do? I heard he was hating no motherfucking uh queso. I was like, well, I, nigga, I, the fuck did I do? They were just sitting out of nowhere. I don't know, bro. I ain't got no beef with that fucking old head ass nigga. Swole head body built that little boy. I cooked that nigga in real life, but yeah, that nigga was hating on me. But how do you get rid of plate cleaners? This is the best way to get rid of plate cleaners, right? So, boom. Right? Think about it like this. If you have a plate cleaner of a bitch that's stopping you from getting at her badass friend, what you always have to do is this. You have to have one friend that's down to take down the, the plate cleaner. And what I mean by that is, the 300, 5 300 pound plate cleaner that's in front that's stopping you from getting to her bitch the only reason that she's mad that you're trying to talk to her friend, it's not even because the friend don't want to talk to you. A lot of times the friend does want to talk to you. The problem is the play cleaner is not getting no type of uh, uh, interaction herself. So what you do is this. Before you go up to the badass friend, you have your man who's down to take down anything. This nigga will eat anything. This nigga will take down a 2 out of 10. He's down bad, he's diabolically horny, and he probably ugly and chopped him for Self. Or maybe he's not. He's just a, he's just a goddamn damn bad motherfucker. Now you send him in on the mission. Hey bro, see that fat bit? Go ahead and get on that. Now, cause here's the thing. As soon as you talk to a play cleaner, they instantly go from no, you can't talk to my friend to you think I'm cute. 
I ain't gonna lie. If I had the ability to make you swallow a grenade launcher, I probably would make you do it. You're fucking hideous, my nigga. You ever notice that when the, when the play clinic gets talked to, they change. They change up. Types. They change up. So you need to send your man that's down to take that down. He sent you sent him in. He take that down. Things of that nature. It's over. Now you slide into the zone that you was really trying to get on. Now, me personally, be for real. Be honest with y'all. Be honest. What's the lowest y'all took? Be honest. Don't lie to me either. Don't lie. I'm going to get mad. What's the lowest y'all took? A three? A strong three? What the f*** is a strong three? Like, she was looking like, damn, she looked like she could be a man, but she just got titties? Nigga, you gay. What is a strong three? You just gay. He said the lights off? Oh, f*** no. Somebody said a dude? Lowest I took was a 7 out of 10? Nigga, you ain't taking no down no 7 out of 10, because you not even 7 out of 10. Nigga, you chopped. A big 5 out of 10? 3, 4, she had fat titties and was freaky as hell? A she male? Time that out, man. Shit, the lowest I ever took down? Strong three. <laughs> Look, man, we've all been diabolically down. Everybody saying the lowest they ever took down was a seven. That's line, bro. Everybody been a little fucked up in life, had to take down a little, a little, a little ugly jump. Now look, hold on, wait, 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 let me explain. I didn't take it down. I just got the net. All right, I'm not, I'm not busting that shit, bro. Because at the end of the day, every time you take down a bitch that's a strong three, the nut never feels good. Right after you nut, you kind of just like, what the fuck? And then you be so fucked up. You broke, you took down a three out of ten, you have nothing going on in life. You go back home, you order DoorDash, knowing you shouldn't have ordered DoorDash. You just spent $25 on DoorDash, knowing that you only have $32 in your bank account. You land down in your bed, you turn the game on, you don't even play that bitch. You turn that bitch on, that's all you do. That's the only sound you hear for about three hours. Turn that bit, that turn all by itself. You know what you do? You turn that bit right the f back on. It's over. It's over. I don't like taking that, taking down three out of tens, four out of tens. It never ends good. Never. And the moment, then the f up thing is right. She probably going crazy because she's she's skilled at what she do. But when you bust that nut and it's feeling amazing, cause it's like, damn, I probably been holding this shit in for a couple days anyway. When you bust that nut, about two seconds into that, bitch, when you nut, it's over. You instantly the pre the post nut clarity, crusty crusty knuckle. What the? F Preaching this up. The post nut clarity happens while you nutting. Tell me I'm lying. The post nut clarity don't come after you nut. That shit happen while you're nutting. And instantly when you nut, you think to yourself, this shit was not worth it, cuz. Preacher this up, Crusty Knuckle. I could've just beat my shit at home. I could've just beat my shit at home. You only, and the crazy thing is, you don't even, yeah, you should, I should've beat my shit. Like, you don't even be fully into it. Your heart, your head, your brain's not into it. You not even looking at the dick sucking at me, you busting that joke, you looking up at the ceiling and shit. That's when I knew I was doing some diabolical. You know, you look at you looking at the wall, bro. You're not even looking at the ass. You're not looking at her head, Bobby. You're looking at other shit like this while shit going on. You got your eyes closed, looking up like this and shit. It's over. Niggas know what I'm talking about. Shit, a hole is a hole. Yeah, he gay. Yeah, shit. I'm about to get banned on TikTok. Hey, TikTok, we talking about some uh, we talking about uh, cooking, man. Shit, man. I don't know. After a certain time, bro, I ain't gonna lie, there's certain shit you should keep it to yourself, and you damn sure shouldn't got go after no three or four out of ten, man. I'm gonna keep it real. My boy cracked it. That nigga on my chat. She's questions, man. Your opinion on the best ways a man can go from a zero to a five and up. First of all, you gay. Because why are you, what the f is that supposed to mean? All right, look, I've already done this clip multiple f 
times, but I'll give y'all a a clip right quick. This is the best way to, to upgrade your life as a man, all right? This is what you do. If you chopped, if you ugly, the first thing that you want to do is accessorize. Clothes. Get you some nice clothes. All right? Hey, one of my TikTok mods, can y'all pin the kick link? Get your money up, get you some nice clothes. If you wear nice clothes, a haircut, a haircut too, yes, a haircut changes you. Get you, make sure you always have a haircut. Make sure you have nice clothes. Make sure you accessorize. Make sure you're clean if you're chopped. And look, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. A lot of a lot of people ain't chopped. They're just out of out of shape. You ever notice that? A lot of people not chopped. They're just out of shape. Most men don't really know what they look like until they're about 15 to 10% body fat. 10%, okay, now you're in bodybuilding range. You can't maintain that as a normal civilian. But about 15 to 12, you can do that with a nice gym routine. Most men don't know how good they look until they get to the gym and start working. So that's my best advice. Get to the gym, lose body fat, lose face fat. Try to get your jawline exposed. Get you some abs, get you some nice muscle. Wear some nice clothes. All right? Wear cologne. Wear lotion. Moisturize yourself. Get your nails done. Do everything you can to distract from this ugly, vile, garbage of a face that you have. Because you chopped. So you want to distract bitches from this and have them see everything else. Get you some chains. Get you some grills. Get you some more Cuban links. So that way they, they blind it out from the shit and they not blinded because you look like Medusa, the male version. Because you chopped. Clean your shit. If you, grow a beard if you can. If you can. If your beard does not grow, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Go goatee. If you, if, look, no, no, look, look. Y'all call me unk because I got this shit. Y'all niggas just mad that you can't grow what I got. You see my shit connect. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I've had this shit since I was 20. Even before that, my shit. Bloop, bloop. Now, if your shit can't grow like me, get you the goatee mustache and goatee combo. But always keep some type of facial hair unless you have one of those motherfucking chiseled ass jaw lines. Then you can rock the no, the no shit. All right? Now, to clean yourselves, I tell y'all all the time. I shave my underarms, I shave my body. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to do it. That's what I do. I don't like underarm hair because the shit always is going to smell weird. It's always going to have a must to it. So I shave my shit. I shave my nuts, I shave my dangling, I shave everything. Trim everything. All right? Wear deodorant. Don't keep a little chest hair. That shit feel like a car carpet. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Check me out. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I don't even know if I should say this. Niggas going to look at me like I'm crazy. I'll say it later. But make sure y'all use the order with aluminum in it. Always use aluminum deodorant. Don't use none of that native. Don't use none of that natural. Use the order with aluminum. I got an allergy to it. Well, nigga, you gonna have an allergy to bitches because you gonna stink. I get rashes. Well, you nigga, you wanna be rashing and smelling good, or you be rashes and dry dick, nigga. Use aluminum. Aluminum. I, aluminum be giving niggas cancer. I rather get underarm cancer than smell like a fifty cheese steak sandwich and shit. I rather smell like I rather get cancer than smell like five guys grease. Fuck that. I rather get cancer than smell like Nintendo nunchuck grease, nigga. All that. I'd rather get cancer. Shit. I'll figure it out when I get to it, nigga. Fuck all that. Shit. I ain't going around stinking. I like to smell good. Now, I'm going to give y'all some, I, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of colognes. I know I tell y'all all the time. Your boy love your Dior Sauvage. Now, look. Niggas be like, all the all the niggas on TikTok, don't get Dior Sauvage. It's going to matter her and her, her ex. Don't get Dior Sauvage. It's so basic. Shut your gay ass up. I'm getting mad on TikTok. Get Dior Sauvage because women like, listen, fellas, let me tell y'all something. When you get deodorant, when you get cologne, are you getting it for men to smell you or you want a woman to smell you? So if all the women in the world say, mm, I love Dior Sauvage, why would I get it for a man to say it's not that good? Am I you or my a woman? Men are too worried about other men. Am I am I trying to you or am I trying to get the girl? 
don't care about your opinion, my nigga. The f is wrong with you? Tell me not to get something. If a woman smells a cologne on me. Mm, I want to suck the fucking wet out your balls. I'm going to get that cologne. The f are you talking about? Now, I'm going to give y'all one of these colognes. This is right here fire, my nigga. I went and tried the one million, the one million, the one million line. This mother right here. The regular gold one. I didn't like that spice shit. This. This mother right here. Ooh. Ooh. How much is this? Two hundred. I'm gonna keep it real. This right here is crazy. I'm gonna keep it real. This is crazy. Now, this is my method. If it's one of those colognes that, listen, before a nigga be like, you try to do it that much, just listen. If it's one of those colognes that die after a couple of hours, it's not that strong, I put it all over. Ush, 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 pulse points, ush, behind the ear, ush, legs, ush, on the shirt. That's if it's a weak cologne. For everybody be like, you're not supposed to do that much. If it's weak, if it's weak. Now, if it's a very strong cologne, very strong, ush. Ush, one on the neck. Ush, that's it. And maybe ush on the shirt. If it's very strong, three sprays max. You don't want to somebody smell this shit. God damn, boy, you smell like an aluminum foil. Now if it's weak, ush, 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 ush. Pop the shirt. Everybody know the pop of the shirt. Pop the shirt. Let this shit pop. Bah. Type shit. That's my method. On the legs too. She a little short. Ush, ush. Ush, ush on the legs. Now, when you do, do when you do, you do the wrist. Never rub. Never rub. You're disrupting the, the, the chemical process of the equilibrializing of the other spices and shit. Never rub. Ush, ush. Let it air dry. Don't pat it. Don't even do that. Mm -mm. Let it air dry. Ush, ush. Let it do its thing. You don't pat it. You don't know what you're talking about. Shut the f up. Ush, ush. Let it do its thing. Ush, 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 ush. Pop. Leave it. Don't f with it. I'm gonna show y'all one more time. Ush, 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 ush. Nigga said, what's my thoughts on acts? So you asking me in 2024 what I think about you? Smelling f awesome cleaner spray and shit. If you a grown man wearing Axe in 2024, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. What? Who the f is wearing smelling Axe? I, I ain't never wore Axe ever in my life. I ain't wear Axe deodorant. I ain't wear f Axe nothing. I like to wear some good shit. What's wrong with y'all? Let's see some more of these questions. Would you would you rather lose both your legs to save your dick or lose your dick to save both your legs? Shit, I'm losing both my legs to save my dick. I, I'm gonna still be able to hump. It may not be that good. I might have my shit behind my shit like this and start go, go like this. But shit, I'd rather lose, nigga, you think about it. If I lose my dick, how am I nut? We're already in 2024. Which means eventually they're gonna have Android legs and shit. I'm gonna be able to, to put my shit on like this. I'm gonna be able to walk anyway. Eventually in a couple of years. I like to nut. So if I don't have a dick, how am I gonna nut, bro? How am I gonna get my meat sucked if I don't have a if I don't have a dick, man? Eventually, I'm going to be able to walk one day. Everybody saying TikTok gone. <laughs> Finger your butt. Let me hold on. Let me get him gone. Finger your butthole for pleasure. Yeah, you need a major timeout. Go ahead and take you an hour. It's going to be a 24-hour 24, 24 stream anyway, bro. You'll be able to come back in an hour. You'll be good, man. We'll get on that burner account. F type shit is that, man. We're doing a 24-hour anyway. Get your ass out of my chat, man. Yeah, he, see? He had to ruin it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't know about 24, man. 
Shit, I don't know y'all. It's looking a little bleak already. It's looking a little bleak. Hold up, let me check something. Oh my stomach. It's bubbling! Uh, do you have any hobbies outside of streaming YouTube you have a passion for? I do. My One of my greatest passion is cars. I have a YouTube video coming out. I wanted to keep it a secret, but I'll show y'all for the people that's in here. I got a lot of car marks coming in, man, with the scat pack. First things first, we are, we are getting a lot more power. I'm not gonna explain what's happening to the scat pack, but I had to go get some 17s, man. God damn, this motherfucker had, had to go get some 17s right here. We got the drag pack on the back, man. I can't say too much what's going on with the scat, but I had to go get some 17s. These are kind of heavy, I ain't gonna lie. That nice little 17s type shit. Uh, other than, ugh. And then I got, uh, can't say too much. Well, I can say something about this. You know, this is the regular little, nigga said W reps. Shit, nigga. I was gonna get whales, but I just bought the race cars. A lot of people rock them, so I was like, fuck it. And we got this going on. Now look, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Ask me a question. For all my car guys, there's not really no whipboard or supercharged scat packs. Should I supercharge my scat pack or should I just upgrade to a Hellcat? Hellcat. I wanted to whipple it because I thought it'd be different. Nobody really does it. But what do y'all think? Y'all say upgrade to a Hellcat? Just get a Hellcat? All right, so y'all want to see me fully build out the scat, have my fun with it, and a couple of months upgrade to the Hellcat. That's what y'all want to see. I've been working on cars since I was eight in a Hellcat. Brother, I know cars. I know I know the 6.4 is weak. All right, I'll just uh, I'll build out the scat pack, build it out, things of that nature, and I'll upgrade to a Hellcat. Uh, Y'all want to know the cars I have for my car channel? These are all the cars I'm interested in getting for the car channel. Y'all ready? Here we go. C6 Z06. A Hellcat. A G82 M4. Mark IV Super. A GT350. Because I wanted to supercharge it because I don't want to try to manual swap a GT500. When they, it's not the same 5.2. I know it's not the same 5.2 motor, but they're both 5.2s. They'll be kind of in the same realm of cars if you supercharge GT350 versus GT500. Uh, a GTR, because I'm a big Nissan guy. I had like eight, uh, like four Nissans. Two 350Zs, two 370Zs. I'm a big Nissan guy. Um, I want a Sylvia because I want to get into drifting. Um, an R8 because that's my favorite supercar. Uh, I want another 350Z to boost it. And I was thinking about maybe getting another 335i. Those are the cars I'm thinking about getting. A S14 or S15 Sylvia. Who would think about the cars? Y'all f***ing or what? And maybe a Mark IV Super, but them bitches are expensive as fuck. I was going to get a ZR1, Z6, but them bitches like 100k. That. For <laughs> well, 100K, they ain't gonna give me something different. He said basic cars, but W decision, I guess. You can't afford one. What, what car you drive now? What, what, a GT3 RS? Oh, no, I fuck with GT3 RS. What car do you have now? You couldn't even get one of them bitches. What, just, just sit back, my nigga. He talking about some basic cars. Nigga, you don't have one. Nigga, you, you on cheese right now. You on the bike. What the fuck are you talking about? But, uh, yeah. The Mark V Supers, now they grew on me. I didn't used to like them bitches. I used to hate them bitches. I did not like the Mark V Supers. I was like, f*** that shit. But, um, yeah, that's the cars I want to get for the car channel. I, boot, I drive a boosted C5 with forced internals. Nah, it's tough. Nah, it's tough. Uh, if you done your shit with a girl at the bar the morning after, you find out she has a boyfriend by the dude, sending you death threats and take a picture of your house, what's the next move? Hey, look, look, look let me tell y'all something about women, man. If you were the bit, right? If you were the bit and you crack that jump, things of that nature, and you find out she has a f***ing boyfriend, at the end of the day, that's nobody's fault but her. And if her boyfriend is trying to crash out over you cracking his bitch, let me tell y'all something. If you ever crack a nigga girl, and then he try to crash out over you and try to kill you and just stand a third over that shit, that means this has happened before. He already don't trust her and she already be on some f***ing shit. I'm going to keep it all the way real. He, he reached his limit, and you're the one person you want to crash out on. Now, you ask yourself, what are you supposed to do if a dude wants to crash out and kill you over some butt? I'm going to tell y'all what you should do. I'm not going to lie. In that situation, right, you have two options. You have the respectful method. You can text them, hey, my man, I didn't know your girl had this, this, that, and the third, had a boyfriend, things of that nature. But you're always going to want to protect yourself. Never, ever start, but always finish. And that's why I always have an emergency switch in my back pocket. Because you're not going to come to me, pressing me and talking to me about some girl that was your girl, that your girl got. I didn't make her go do that. She wanted my dinner. So you're going to impress me. You're going to come into my front door. I'm going to be waiting. I actually want you to come to my front door. I want you to come over. We're going to have a tea party. My fact, only get gas for one way.
please, don't, don't get gas for going back and forth. Trust me, it's not an A to B and C trip. It's gonna be just an A trip. I want you to come right to my front door. My front door is actually gonna be unlocked, so you can come right in. It's already gonna be set up. As soon as you walk in, you're gonna hear three beeps. That's my emergency turret situation with the AA-12s and shit. Pointing right at your kneecaps. I'm gonna blow your kneecaps off. After I blow your kneecaps off, I'm gonna hit them right below the tendon right here in the vein, so that way you're still alive. I'm gonna keep you alive. I'm gonna take a stove, a pan, warm that bitch, put some butter on the bottom of it. Warm it up, I'm gonna cauterize the wound. That way, boom, boom. You're not dead, it's just burning like a mother you smell your shit smelling like a, a 12 o'clock shadow bacon cheese nigga sandwich. Bottom of your shit. Boom. Out of that, I'm gonna take your ass. I'm gonna take your girl. I'm gonna bring her to my room. The same she was crying about. I'm gonna pipe her right in front of her. I'm gonna give her there. She's gonna say, I put all my back of my brain. She's gonna say, it's so big. It's bigger than his, whatever it was. And you're gonna start biting the bottom of your leg. I'm gonna take, kill your bitch ass. Cause you're not gonna press me about a mother bitch that she got That's your girl. I didn't make her do that nigga. She wanted me. The f are you talking about? So you mad because your girl out here giving pussy. And be honest with y'all. Please, never in your life, wife no bitch that you that took from a nigga. And I've already told y'all multiple times, why not? Because you lose them how you get them. You had more motion, you was taller, had a better beard, better car, you took a nigga bitch. What is it gonna happen with another nigga that's taller, look better, got a beard, better car, come and see and your bitch see him. You gonna lose her how you got him, motherfucker. Every time I, and, 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 and you know what's crazy? Eventually I grew up, right? Cause I used to, I used to not have a problem with a nigga bitch. I'm like, shit, that's not my girl. And after a while, I think eventually you evolve and you don't even do it no more. You're like, huh, I can't even do it to this nigga. When you take a nigga bitch and you got your bitch took it, you think to yourself, I remember how this shit felt. When a nigga was my bitch, when 75 niggas was my bitch, I remember how that shit felt. When I seen a picture of her kids in her mouth, shit changed me, cuz. Shit changed me. 75 niggas she was sending Snapchats to, kids in the mouth, all types of crazy shit, and we only 16. <laughs> We're only juniors. How are you this crazy as a junior? It changed me. It changed me. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And at one point, nigga, I was a joker who laughs, nigga, or Batman who laughs. I was a crazy villain. But you know, nowadays I'm retired. All it takes is one bitch to bring it out of me. Cause you're not gonna play with me. Well, I'm gonna show you who that victim, who that, who that goddamn villain was. I'm chilling. But you disrespect me. If you think that you can play with a nigga like me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get your grandmother pregnant with twins. Right in front of you. Not gonna disrespect me. I'm gonna show you who that villain really was, man. You don't wanna know that person. He's not a good person. So stop. Get some help. How we feel about this yap session, man? Yo, Unc, how do I walk like an old head? Bro, what? Who are the top three celebrities you wouldn't mind dating and marry with? Shut up, boy. You trying to get me knocked out. Uh, yo, Banks, if you had a YouTube house, what would the name of your group house be? I was supposed to do one with some some of my close friends. We had one called PLC. It was called Prolific. But I don't know. what I don't know. I, I got to talk to them niggas, bro. I, I want to start a YouTube house. I want to start a content house. Uh, but who would y'all want to see me do a content house with? Who y'all want to see me do a content house with? Start spamming some names. Of course, nigga saying Will. That nigga don't have no money, bro. Nigga saying Will. Everybody saying Will. I slapped that thing. Um, yo, um, am I in the wrong for cheating on the same girl three different times even though she was being dry? Bro, you could have just left her. Let me ban you, nigga. Real men don't cheat. Get your bitch out of here, ass little dude. What's wrong with him? Oh, uh, one gotta go. Soul food, Cajun food, Jamaican food, and Mexican food. What the f is Cajun food? What the f is that? I gotta Google this shit. That shit look nasty as f. Oh, this is like Creole. Oh, I don't eat this bullshit. Yeah, I don't eat crawfish. That shit look nasty as fuck, boy. I don't eat that shit. Shit look like fucking slosh me. Nigga, I wish a nigga would serve me some shit like this. I'll punch the bowl out that nigga. Maybe I got, what the fuck? That's a bowl of shit. <laughs> the fuck is this? Oh, no. Nigga got a big ass sausage on this shit, man. Yeah, this gay. 
I don't want to eat this shit, man. You got a big ass long dong, a big ass boing boing on the plate. I don't want to eat this, nigga. I take the fish. Yeah, I don't want this big ass long schlong on my plate, man. Wish a nigga would put in some shit like this. I'll put a goddamn grenade on that plate, nigga, would offer me some shit like that and blow us to both the f up. Are right, you gonna have a guest star make a cameo during the stream? I will have a guest star. Not during this stream. But one day we're gonna do some cameos. We're gonna have some people come on and uh, Maybe Will can come through today. I ain't gonna lie, my place is filthy, bro. This box is all over the place. I don't want that nigga in here because he's gonna make a stinking shit. Thoughts on the end of the world? This nigga asking me if an asteroid was coming to blow this mother. Uh, what I'm gonna do. So you telling me this nigga's asking T-Banks how I feel about the end of the world. If I turn my TV on and they say there's a, a 500,000 mile ass, big ass asteroid head towards Earth, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do, go out there and stop it? I'm gonna say, let me handle this. They gonna look at my dumb ass and say, boy, if you gonna sit your dumb ass the f down. At the end of the day, if I turn on my TV news and they say it's a big ass motherfucking asteroid coming to blow the Earth up, you have 30 minutes to go to, to spend time with your family. I'm gonna call my girl up. She's gonna come over. She's gonna suck the all the way down to the base of my balls. She's gonna make me nut as soon as I blow up. So that way I can go out with a bang. As soon as my body starts lifting up like this. Oh, she going crazy. I got my mouth open. My tongue all out. Lips getting dry and shit. As soon as I bust, the world gonna end. I'm cool. I lived my life. Ain't nothing else I can do about nothing, bro. I'm dead. What the f you want me to do? I want to make sure I go out with a bang. So when I'm sitting there, mouth wide open, tongue out. Getting cotton mouth and shit. Toes twiddling. Legs motherfucking stretching and shit. See my shit? Look at my shit. See my shit? Look at, this, look at that muscle right there. My shit like this. I'm gripping on the sheets and shit. Bust. Soon as the motherfucker hit the earth. Mm. I'm, I'm not it. I'm, I'm good. I did what I had to do. What the fuck you else you want me to do? Cry? I wouldn't even cry. I'd be so anxious, like, motherfucking heart racing and shit because I'm nervous. My probably be on 120%. Every time I get too nervous, my get real hard. So I be sitting right there. Boom. So that don't boom. I'm a nut. It's over. <laughs> what happened to happen to that on the daily guy? Did he blow up? Should we go check his shit? Y'all remember I used to sing that song? On the daily. Uh, I'm going crazy. What happened to that nigga? He ain't blow up off that shit. He ain't, he ain't. That nigga has 100K views on this shit? No way. Who here from T-Banks? What the f this nigga has a hundred K view from this shit. Everybody here from T Banks. <laughs> Bro, how did I react to this shit? Was it wasn't that like this? Yo, that shit is crazy, bro. Yo, they they saying I put that nigga on the map, bro. That's where that goddamn meme come from when I had to do that like this. That's where that shit came from, that song. On the daily. Oh, here it is. Here's the clip right here. Here's the clip. Here's the clip. I found it on TikTok. And that's when that's when they caught me right there on the daily. It got stuck in my head. Bro. I was saying that shit for like two months straight, bro. I know y'all remember that shit. It would just randomly come out of nowhere on the daily. I'm going crazy for about two months. Nigga, I would not stand that. Stop saying that shit, bro. I said I'm about to nut, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> 